What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Star Wars edition of the Rage Nation Show. This is just a web search where we talk about all things that matter to me in the world of Star Wars films. This is episode number 19, and I'm sure by now you all are excited about Star Wars. Episode 7, The Force Awakens. I know I am. The hype is real. We've been waiting for this film for a very, very long time, and it's finally here. Tomorrow, on Thursday, December 17th, 10.15 p.m., I will be sitting before an IMAX screen watching Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, for the very first time, and then I will repeat that same thing once again on the following Saturday. And then I will, of course, watch it a couple of more times while it's still in IMAX screens. So for such a big event film, possibly the biggest film ever so far, I gotta do a little bit of prep work and that is in the form of running a Star Wars marathon, meaning watching all six films before we get to episode seven. So I decided to watch the Star Wars Complete Saga on Blu-ray chronologically. And what I mean by that is from episode one, all the way to Return of the Jedi, and I think that is the right way to watch it, and that is chronologically, from episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that once we get to The Force Awakens, you're watching episode 7, and that's the way you should watch it. Not 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, and then 7, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and if you should decide to skip the prequel trilogies, then do that, but at least watch it chronologically. Anyways, what I'm here to talk about in this video is my thoughts on the Star Wars prequels. I've never actually given you guys my thoughts on how I feel about the prequels, and I'll also tell, talk to you guys a little bit about how I feel about the special editions. All right, so, Star Wars prequels, episode one, two, three, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. I saw them all in the theaters. I saw them all in the theaters multiple times. I actually saw episode one seven times in the theaters. Um, and Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith both three times in the theaters. Now, why did I watch it that many times? Because I never got to saw Star Wars on the big screen. I never saw Star Wars in the theater. So, watching Star Wars and all the Star Wars elements presented to me on the big screen was an awesome thing. I'm sure you guys have seen all the videos where you see people camping outside and dressing up and getting all crazy. Well, I was a part of that crowd. While I didn't camp outside, I did wait three hours in full Darth Maul gear and everything, face paint and all. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan and uh, I was pretty happy about what I saw. Now, watching it again for the, f for, for, um, uh, for the first time in a very long time, I guess. Well, just watching it again uh, since uh, a very, very long time, since the very last time I watched it. You know what? My thoughts and feelings have changed slightly. I'll tell you that for sure and, and definitively that um, there's a lot of bad acting in, this uh, in these prequel trilogies. All three films have bad acting. Natalie Portman is a great actress, okay? But she's a great actress now. She was not a great actress before. And if she was a great actress before, George Lucas did a poor job at directing her. Now as for Anakin Skywalker, played by Jake Lloyd and Hayden Christensen, we all know how everybody feels about that. They are terrible terrible actors. Okay, maybe he improved a little bit of his acting uh, by the time we got to Revenge of the Sith, but at the end of the day, they are terrible actors. Ewan McGregor, you know what, also a very great actor, but I didn't find his performance to be great or outstanding in any way. Now, the only two characters I found that were good were Liam Neeson, played by Qui-Gon Jinn, and Yoda, of course, um, voiced and puppeteered by Jim Henson. I thought they were the two most memorable characters in uh, in the films, okay? I mean, in the, tr in the prequel trilogy. But as for everybody else, man, that's some terrible, terrible acting and also some very, very poorly written dialogue. I'm talking about some of the worst dialogue I've ever seen, I've ever heard, okay? Some Also some very terrible editing there. Anyways, it's, it's just full of a lot of problems. But with all that being said... I don't think that the prequels are bad. I mean, they're bad compared to the original trilogy, or they're not as good as the original trilogy, but I don't think they're bad films. I actually think they're good films, they're just not great films. They're not as great as the original trilogy. Phantom Menace is the weakest one out of the entire saga, okay? It just is, all right? Attack of the Clones, the, the main thing that I like about it is the um, the final battle scene in Geonosis. Everything that takes place in Geonosis is, of course, my favorite part about the movie. Everything else is, you know what, it's, 
it's kind of, it feels like George Lucas just wants to do fan service for us by just throwing things in there. Now, as for Revenge of the Sith, I actually think Revenge of the Sith is a pretty good movie. Like, a, like it's a really good movie. It's the best one out of the three. Um, and and um, you know what? I, I'm going to go as bold as saying that I even think Revenge of the Sith is actually better than Return of the Jedi. Now, I, before you guys kill me, when you look at Return of the Jedi... Um, it doesn't have a load of, whole lot of depth to it. Really, it's just the third act of the of a larger story. And what do you do in a third act of a larger story? You just fight. It's just battle. That's all it is. It's nothing but battle. So all the depth really is in Empire Strikes Back. All the development is all in Empire Strikes Back. But Revenge of the Sith is very emotional. It's epic. There's a lot of battles. It's action packed, and it's it's got a very emotional story. There's a struggle. There's a it, personal and inner conflict that is going on and I feel for the character despite all the bad acting now speaking of bad acting bad dialogue I just got to point out that this is the worst bunch of lines that I've ever heard and that is you are so beautiful it's just because I'm so in love with you no it's because I'm so in love with you so love has bl clouded you or love has blinded you that is the worst piece of dialogue I have ever heard in my entire life okay ever okay <laughs> anyways what i'm trying to say is that uh in conclusion i don't think the prequel trilogies are bad the prequel trilogy is are bad okay um i um um i think they're good films they're just not great films i find that revenge of the sith is actually a pretty good movie and uh i really like it they all have bad acting they all have bad dialogue and um but other than that i still think that they're quite um uh, um, they're valuable um, um, pieces into the Star Wars saga. And George Lucas, you know, he had a, quite a bit of uh, 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 problems trying to get the continuity right, but I think it was a very, very good effort. Like, a very, very good effort. Uh, after all, there is a huge story to tell, but uh, he did his best, okay? Now, as for the special editions, I don't mind what they did in, epi in episode 4, A New Hope. I don't mind at all. They cleaned up a lot of stuff. They added a lot of uh, like things here and there. That's cool. I didn't really notice much of the changes in Empire Strikes Back. Okay, Actually, to be completely honest, I really didn't notice that many changes except for Cloud City. Okay, That's the one that stands out the most. Okay, As for Return of the Jedi, man, straight up blasphemy straight up like a full-on crime that George Lucas did to Return of the Jedi okay things that really stand out that I think were completely unnecessary was that dance number in uh, the song and dance number in, at the Jabba the Hutt's palace the no no from uh, from Darth Vader when he when he throws the Emperor overboard and um, adding Hayden Christensen in replacement of Sebastian Shaw um, when you see the Jedi ghost that was terrible that was completely like, they did not need to do that, mainly because, well, Luke doesn't even know what his Anakin Skywalker looks like as a younger version of himself. It doesn't make any sense at all, okay? That was terrible, a terrible, terrible executive decision made by George Lucas. And finally, I think they should have not included the, um, the celebration scene on Naboo. The prequels are done. There's absolutely no need to put in this scene of, the, the, the Nubians uh, celebrating, all right, at all. They, they didn't even need to put in Coruscant. They just needed to put in the, 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 the locations that we are familiar with. Tatooine, Endor, Cloud City, you know, places like that. And that will just make us feel like, okay, you know what? It's, this is appropriate. The rest of it seems a bit out of place. But anyways... That's all I really wanted to say in this video. I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts about the prequels and special editions. And like I said before, Revenge of Sith, of course, is the best in the prequel trilogy. Phantom Men is the worst. It's full of bad acting, bad dialogue. Uh, George Lucas did a full-on crime with making all the, the changes, additions, and replacements at Return of the Jedi. Everything else, I really don't mind. Empire Strikes Back is still the absolute best, and I am ready for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Will it be better than Empire Strikes Back? I don't think so. I give Empire Strikes Back a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect film, okay? That's where you see Han Solo really come to life, okay? And um, is that all I have to say? I think that's all I have to say. And um, uh, did you watch um, Episode 
I mean, the, the saga, you know, did you do a marathon and did you do it four, five, six and one, two, three, or did you, did, did you do it like me chronologically? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Let me know in the comment section below. And after watching the, doing a marathon, let me know your thoughts on the prequels and the special editions. Okay. I want to know how you feel about that, about all that. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, the Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Hugh. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. First look at Apocalypse and it's a very, very teaser type glimpse because we don't get to see his face and I'm sure they're hiding it for a reason. Now, who is this guy?